this time. I'd like to invite Lainey with her family to come for that. In holy baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father liberates us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of fallen humanity. In the waters of baptism, we were born children of God and inheritors of eternal life. By water and the Holy Spirit, with God's word, we are made members of the church, which is the body of Christ. As we live with him and with his people, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, you desire to have your child baptized into Christ. In Christian love, you have presented your daughter for holy baptism. You should therefore faithfully bring her to the services of God's house, to teach her the Lord's Prayer and the Creed and the Ten Commandments. As she grows in years, she should place into her hands the Holy Scripture and provide for her instruction in Christian faith. That living in the covenant of her baptism and in communion with the church, she may lead a godly life until the day of Jesus Christ. Do you promise to fulfill these obligations? Sponsors, do you promise to nurture this child in, in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit and to help her to live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? Those of you who are gathered here, you're blessed because you're a part of this. You continue to actually share in this promise of baptism, but also you promise to do these things here. People of God, do you promise to support Lainey and to pray for her in her new life in Christ? I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, to reject sin and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Do you renounce the devil and all forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Let's give thanks to the Lord. Holy God, mighty Lord, we give you thanks for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters and you created the heavens and the earth. By the gift of water you nourish and sustain us and all living things. By the waters of the flood, you condemned the wicked and saved those whom you had chosen, Noah and his family. You led Israel by a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire through the sea, out of slavery, and into the freedom of the promised land. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of his own death and resurrection, your beloved son has set us free from the bondage to sin and death and has opened the way to joy and the freedom of everlasting life. He made water a sign of the kingdoms and cleansing and rebirth. In obedience to his command, we make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Pour out to your Holy Spirit here, so Lady, who is here baptized, may be given new life. Wash away the sin of she who is cleansed by this water, and bring her forth as an inheritor of the glorious kingdom. 
To you be given praise and honor and worship through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. O God, the giver of all life, look with kindness upon Jason and Ashley. Let them ever rejoice in the gift that you have given them. Make them teachers and examples of righteousness for Laney. Strengthen them in their own baptism, so that they may share eternally with their daughter the salvation you have given them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Through baptism, God has made this new sister a member of the priesthood that we share in Christ Jesus, that we may proclaim and praise God and bear His creative and redeeming word to all the world. Let us now welcome Laney. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission that we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Peace be with you. May we share this gift of peace with one another and the lady of the 